For nearly three millennia, it has stood as one of history's greatest, most tantalizing mysteries. A kingdom erased from the map, an entire nation of people seemingly vanished into the mists of time. We're talking about the ten lost tribes of Israel. Exiled from their homeland by a brutal empire in the 8th century BC, their fate has sparked centuries of legend, speculation, and epic quests. Where did they go? Did they assimilate and disappear, or did they preserve their identity in secret corners of the globe? For generations, the answers were buried. But today, in the 21st century, an extraordinary new tool has allowed us to reopen this ancient cold case. That tool is not a dusty map or a weathered stone tablet. It is the history book written within our own cells, our DNA. Welcome to SCI Discovery Chronicles. Today, we embark on a journey to trace the genetic footprints of the lost tribes, following a trail of breadcrumbs encoded in the human genome that leads us to the most unexpected places on Earth, and reveals astonishing connections that are challenging everything we thought we knew about history, identity, and the enduring power of ancestry. Our story begins around 720 BC in the ancient Near East. The Kingdom of Israel, a prosperous nation in the north of the region, was conquered by the formidable Neo-Assyrian Empire. The Assyrians had a standard policy for conquered peoples designed to prevent rebellion, mass deportation. According to historical records, including the Bible and Assyrian inscriptions, a vast number of the Israelites, the ten tribes that constituted the northern kingdom, were forcibly exiled and scattered across the Assyrian Empire, from Mesopotamia to parts of modern-day Iran and Syria. And then, silence. History loses their tracks. They become the ten lost tribes, their memory preserved in scripture and fueling endless speculation. Were they the ancestors of certain European nobles? Native American tribes? The people of Japan. The theories have been wild and numerous, but until recently, there was no way to scientifically test them. But how can we possibly trace a people who vanished 2,700 years ago? The answer lies in the field of genetic genealogy. Each of us carries a genetic record of our ancestors. Specifically, two types of DNA are incredibly useful for tracing deep ancestry. Y-chromosome DNA is passed down almost unchanged from father to son, like a hereditary surname. Mitochondrial DNA, or mtDNA, is passed down from mother to all her children. Over generations, small, predictable mutations occur in these DNA sequences, creating unique genetic markers. When a particular set of these markers is shared by a group of people, it's called a haplogroup. Think of a haplogroup as a major branch on the great human family tree. By tracking these haplogroups, scientists can follow the migration patterns of ancient populations across the globe, creating a genetic map of human history. The quest, then, was to find if any specific patrilineal or matrilineal signatures could be linked back to the ancient Israelites. To understand how this works, let's look at a remarkable and proven case study, the genetic signature of the Kohanim, the Jewish priestly caste. According to tradition, all Kohanim are direct patrilineal descendants of Aaron, the brother of Moses. In the 1990s, geneticists decided to test this claim. They analyzed the Y chromosomes of men from Kohen families around the world, and what they found was astonishing. A significant percentage of them, far more than in the general Jewish or non-Jewish populations, carried a specific set of Y-chromosome markers. This signature became known as the Cohen modal haplotype. It was a clear genetic family crest passed down from father to son for over 3,000 years, providing powerful evidence for a shared ancient ancestry. This discovery proved the principle if a specific lineage could be traced, could the same be done for entire tribes? The search for the lost tribe's genetic footprints takes us first to a surprising location, southern Africa. Here lived the Lemba people, a Banta-speaking group with a powerful oral tradition that has been passed down for centuries. Their tradition states that their ancestors were Jews who migrated from a place called Sena, traveling through Yemen and down the coast of Africa. For years, their claims were dismissed by outsiders. 
But the Lemba also practiced customs strikingly similar to Jewish traditions. They practiced male circumcision, avoided eating pork or animals forbidden in the Torah, and even had a priestly clan, the Buba. When geneticists tested the Y chromosomes of the Buba clan, the results were stunning. A high proportion of Lemba men and over 50% of the men in the Buba clan carried the Cohen modal haplotype, the very same priestly genetic signature found in Cohen families worldwide. The genetic evidence provided a breathtaking corroboration of their long-held oral history. It didn't mean the Lemba as a whole were a lost tribe, but it pointed to a definitive, ancient Jewish ancestry for their founding patrilineal clans. The story doesn't end in Africa. Our genetic trail leads us next to the bustling subcontinent of India, home to several communities with ancient claims to Israelite heritage. One such group is the Bean Israel of Mumbai, who have long held that their ancestors were shipwrecked on the Indian coast centuries ago. Genetic studies have indeed shown clear evidence of Middle Eastern ancestry distinct from their Indian neighbors, supporting their narrative of an ancient migration. Even more striking is the story of the Bnai Menash, a people from the remote northeastern Indian states of Mysoram and Manipur. Their oral tradition identifies them as descendants of the tribe of Manasseh, one of the ten lost tribes. For decades, they practiced a form of biblical religion and dreamed of returning to Israel. In the early 2000s, genetic testing was performed. While the results were complex, they did indicate a link showing some shared genetic markers with peoples of the Middle East. While not as clear-cut as the Lemba case, the combination of their passionate tradition and the suggestive genetic evidence was compelling enough for Israel's chief rabbinate to formally recognize them as descendants of a lost tribe, allowing thousands to immigrate to Israel. So, after examining the evidence from Africa to Asia, what is the verdict of science? Have we truly found the lost tribes of Israel? The answer is both yes and no, and it's profoundly complex. Modern genetics has not, and likely cannot, definitively point to a group and say, this is the lost tribe of Asher, or this is the tribe of Zebulun. The tribes were political and social entities, not single haplogroups. After 2,700 years of migration, intermarriage, and assimilation, their genetic signatures would be incredibly diffuse and interwoven with those of local populations. What genetics can do, with breathtaking power, is identify ancestral connections. It can validate the core truth of a community's oral history, like that of the Lemba, by showing a clear biological link to an ancient Middle Eastern population. It can reveal the hidden threads of migration that connect a village in India to the historical land of Israel. It tells us that while the ten lost tribes as distinct political entities may be lost to history, their descendants, their DNA, are not. They did not simply vanish. They survived, they journeyed, they assimilated, and they integrated, creating a rich and complex human tapestry across the globe. So, we return from our journey, not with a simple answer, but with a far more profound understanding. The legend of the lost tribes is not just a myth. It is the story of human resilience, of migration, and of the incredible persistence of identity and memory, passed down through stories and through genes. Modern science has given us a genetic time machine, allowing us to see the faint, glowing footprints of ancient migrations and prove that deep in the DNA of people in Africa, India, and possibly beyond, the echoes of a vanished kingdom still resonate today. Thank you for joining us on SCI Discovery Chronicles. If this journey into the intersection of history and genetics fascinated you, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with others who are curious about our shared human story. Click the notification bell to join us on our next adventure into the past. What part of this genetic search do you find most incredible? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.